Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I thought I would give you know, my little uh, thought or review of YouTube gaming. Uh, as you can see, I tried it out a lot today. <laughs> uh, I really wasn't expecting much. Uh, you know, I think I got like maybe like one or two new people in the channel, but uh, I don't know. I think like it, it needs a lot more work. Uh, my early thought is that they really needed to, they really should have done uh, maybe a couple months in beta testing and knocked out some of these issues. Uh, right now, the main issues are there are a lot of games not in the uh, directory. It's not like Twitch where uh, even, you know, obscure indie games like this are in the directory. You know, I can actually start a stream of this and actually say that I'm playing 20XX instead of choosing something similar like, you know, Mega Man X or something. Uh, also, the monetization, uh, I think, is going to be something they're going to have to tackle at some point. Um, Obviously, I don't really have a large following on Twitch. Uh, this is pretty much the largest following that I have on the internet is this YouTube channel. So for me, uh, it is more beneficial for me to stream on here, uh, just on the basis of I can actually get a little revenue off it. Uh, you know, <laughs> I had like maybe like four people watching, so I probably made like five cents off it or something. But uh, you know, the people that uh, have big YouTube channels that aren't bound to a contract, like on Twitch, uh, I can't really see why they would want to uh, put a lot of time into this. And like the the YouTube gaming, uh, if you go on the site, like it looks pretty bare and it looks. Uh, a lot like Hitbox, like Hitbox has like a couple streams that are like in the 100, 200, 300 viewer range and the rest are all like under 50. <laughs> uh, that's kind of how it is right now and uh, I think what the issue is, uh, they waited too long to do YouTube gaming. Uh, they really should have done it a lot sooner. <laughs> uh, the main issue now is uh, a lot of the really big YouTubers, uh, you know, they wanted a secondary source of income, which is, you know, perfectly normal. So they went over to Twitch, but uh, the problem is once you're partnered on Twitch, from what I understand, uh, you cannot, you know, stream on another site. And if you do, it has to be like completely different content or something. I'm not really sure how it works. I'm not partnered on Twitch, but <laughs> uh, obviously that locks out uh, a huge part of the... Uh, the really big gaming channels on YouTube, uh, pretty much all of them have migrated to Twitch, or at least partially, you know, like, people like Maximilian and stuff like that. Uh, I don't really think they can do much of anything with YouTube gaming at all, and I know people tend to hate on, you know, the big YouTubers and streamers and stuff, but, uh, honestly, you, you need those people to actually... <laughs> Uh, show people that are coming to the site for the first time that uh, there's actually a large audience and there's a potential for other people to grow like that and uh, I think YouTube gaming's really missing that right now uh, in terms of whether I'll keep streaming on YouTube gaming uh, maybe I'll do it like a couple times a week or something once or twice a week uh, I think that will work pretty well uh, the rest is going to be on Twitch. Uh, it's just the reality of it is, uh, A, there's really not many social features <laughs> on uh, YouTube gaming or YouTube streaming at all. Uh, one of the best things about Twitch that I've been using a lot and uh, has been happening a lot to me too is hosting. You know, hosting, if you ever watch my streams, you know the routine. Whenever I'm done for the night, you know, I'll go and host somebody. You know, obviously I don't have hundreds of people watching, so it's not like a huge influx of viewers to that other person, but uh, people appreciate it. You know, you're sharing your uh, viewer base with other communities, you know, if, if not other communities, other people in your community. You know, I often share my viewers with Swillow and vice versa because we play pretty much the same games. <laughs> uh, YouTube gaming is really missing a lot of the social features. Uh, subscriptions, of course. Uh, subscriptions is something they're definitely going to need to add. Uh, I know people hate on that stuff. Uh, some people can be pretty obnoxious with how they run their streams with the donations and the subscription notifications and stuff. But uh, that's what keeps people on the site. The people that are partnered, uh, obviously, you know, you can't depend on people donating if you want to make it, <laughs> uh, you know, an actual sustainable source of income. I mean, sure, there's a ch chance that, you know, some oil prince will donate five grand to you or something, and it will actually be a real donation, not a troll one, but, you know, in terms of making a living and, you know, paying your necessities and stuff, you can't rely on that, and that's why uh, the subscription program is one of the best parts of Twitch for people that are partnered on there, because it's, you know, guaranteed income. You know, obviously people come and go, you know, sometimes they have to cancel their subscriptions. Uh, I subscribe to a couple people on Twitch on and off, and, you know, I have to cancel it because of my own personal budget issues, but, uh, you know, that's what keeps people on there, that's what keeps it sustainable, and uh, I'm not really saying that uh, that's something that I would want to do, uh, I don't really think I have a big enough viewer base to actually get <laughs> uh, any kind of sustainable income off subscribers, but uh, in terms of other people, like people who 
for some reason never really switched onto Twitch, you know, that were big on YouTube and got partnered over there. Uh, I think they're going to need to have that at some point. They do have fan funding, which is one thing, but like I said, uh, that's not sustainable at all, you know. I've had people donate things to me, like, you know, Kiromatic and Apothecary 2 and everybody else have uh, shown me so much generosity, but, you know, uh, I can't depend on that kind of thing, and anybody else who's doing this, uh, it's pretty much the same way. So basically, uh, I think what they'll need to do is they'll need to get some big streamers to, uh, you know, stick with YouTube gaming. They're going to need to improve the monetization. Uh, perhaps maybe they can copy the host feature or something. Uh, it needs to be a little easier to send people to another stream. Uh, that's definitely one of the best things that Twitch has added. Uh, people complain about Twitch a lot, but uh, that's one of the best things that they've done for both large and small communities. You know, the speedrunning community, you know, it's pretty rare when you're done, you know, speedrunning to find somebody else who's speedrunning the same game, unless it's one of the bigger games. But, you know, you can introduce people to another speed game and how it's played by a high-level player and stuff like that. And I think uh, that's one of the greatest features. I've been using it a lot. You know, I have seen a couple extra followers from it. And, you know, I have seen a little more chat activity and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm happy when anybody hosts me. You know, it's not all about the numbers. <laughs> you know, if a good friend of mine hosts me for five viewers, you know, I'm happy with that. You know, it means that uh, people appreciate me and, you know, that I am actually mean something in all the communities that I'm in. So in any case, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, I apologize for all the Twitch VODs, uh, or not Twitch VODs, but YouTube Gaming VODs. Uh, usually when I do Twitch VODs, I schedule them out so that they're not all appearing in your subscription folder for, <laughs> you know, all at once. But uh, it doesn't seem like you can schedule out uh, YouTube Gaming VODs, which is another issue. You know, if you stream more than once a day, you know, people are going to get tired of seeing, you know, 10 different streams, <laughs> uh, VODs or archives on your channel. Uh, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing with it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. You know, maybe I can just pick a random day of the week, like Wednesday or Friday or something, and I can do a YouTube gaming stream instead of Twitch. Uh, if you're not following me on Twitch, you definitely should be. Uh, there are a lot of benefits for me uh, streaming on Twitch uh, versus YouTube gaming, even though I'm not partnered on Twitch. Uh, I've already gone over the hosting feature, which I make uh, very good use of. Uh, also, I can't look at the YouTube chat on my Vita. Uh, my laptop died while my computer was uh, in the repair shop last week. And uh, it doesn't look like YouTube has a pop-out chat at all, which is really weird. Uh, I'm not really sure why they don't have that. I remember popping out chat rooms like 12 years ago. <laughs> uh, so I, it's one of the reasons why uh, I really can't take YouTube gaming seriously. But uh, right now, it, it doesn't really seem worth the effort. It seems like kind of just a fun side thing. You know, maybe I could make a couple extra bucks a month doing it. But uh, I think it's going to be Twitch for me for a while. Uh, I will be watching YouTube gaming closely and seeing if it improves. But uh, right now, I don't think it's going to be a primary focus for me. So uh, let me know what you guys think. You know, if you want me to uh, do a little YouTube gaming streaming on here every once in a while, maybe once or twice a week, I could do that. The rest is going to be on Twitch, so my link's in the description. Peace.